All right, welcome. I bet you're watching because you're considering remodeling your kitchen. <laughs> so you're wondering how much you should invest in remodeling your kitchen. Let's talk about the details today, see if we can give you a hand, okay? So when remodeling a kitchen, I have a formula that I've been using for about 10 to 15 years now with clients and it works really well. This is something that hopefully will help you to not overspend or underspend on your kitchen remodel. So I'm gonna give you some details today talking through every element of what to spend on each area of the kitchen, okay? And we're gonna talk cabinets, appliances, countertops, all the details. So first of all, how much should you plan to invest in the overall kitchen remodel? So take the value of your home some of today's home prices might be a little overinflated, but take the value of your home, realistic value, and take 15% of that value. If you're planning to redo the entire kitchen, you should plan to invest about 15%. So for example, if your home is a $500,000 home, then you should be planning or budgeting about $75,000 for your kitchen remodel, okay? Now where does that money go? That's the important part, right? Okay, let's talk about that. So cabinetry, you should plan to invest about 32% of that budget, so about a third into your cabinets. What does that equal to? Oh, just under $15,000, okay? Uh, on a, on a $500,000 home, about $15,000 towards your cabinets. Now, before I continue on, one thing that's important to know about this, many people will easily try to overspend in areas that really matter to them. Let me give you an example. They fall in love with some appliances, so they want to overspend on the appliances, when in the budget, the appliances should be about 11% of the total budget, okay? Um, it's really easy to spend more on that, really easy to spend more on the countertops because they want to go with some really nice stone. So just be careful, you choose at your house, but if you overspend in one area and you got to stick within your budget, then you obviously have to pull from another area, right? No different than any other financial situation, okay? All right, so we talked cabinets. Now let's talk um, your labor, your construction labor. Now again, if you're not going to spend do, do this work yourself and you're going to hire someone, you need to plan about 30% of your budget on the labor. So again, just under a third of the total budget. So what's that put you at? Around 12, 13,000? We'll put the math on the screen so it gives you some specifics, okay? So plan on a contractor charging you in that range. Now again, labor prices are a little, little inflated, so you got to be careful, but pay attention to your budget, okay? One other suggestion before I continue on. I usually give customers a recommendation to stay within about a 10% window of this range. Okay, so if you've got a, a $75,000 remodel budget for your kitchen remodel, you know, anywhere from about $82,000 down to about $68,000 would be a reasonable amount to spend. Okay, be careful though, guys. Be careful going too much. Be careful going too little. Okay, all right, the next one. Let's talk appliances. I mentioned 11%. That's about right. So on a $75,000 kitchen remodel budget, you're gonna be in, in about the eight to $8,500 range for appliances. Now some of you, like I said before, you might go, I can't get my tower fridge for that. I can't get my big built-in fridge for that price. Well, you're right. You can't fit all your appliances in that budget. So you gotta decide. What some of my clients have done in the past is they'll go buy the big beautiful fridge that they want and then they'll keep their existing dishwasher and range until they can afford to do that later. And then that way they can still invest and have the budget that they want for the project. This is up to you on how you want to handle that, okay? All right, let's talk the next one, countertops. I mentioned about easily people spend too much money on countertops. Um, countertops should account for about 10% of your budget. So on a $75,000 project, 7,500 bucks, okay? So now that sound, may sound pretty high, uh, to some and others, it doesn't sound enough. Okay, so you just have to decide what type of material you want. What a lot of customers will ask me is to say, well, Shad, what type of countertops can I get for that? I say, well, you have to find out. So okay, do you want to do a mix between stone and wood or do you want to do um, you know, porcelain and, and something else? So you have to decide as you go looking for countertops, but that's a budget range that might help you out, okay? All right, next one, let's talk about uh, flooring. Now, one of the, the tricky parts about doing flooring in a kitchen mall is oftentimes your flooring flows into your dining room or into your great room or into the hallway or bathroom. So one of the challenges with flooring is that people will overspend because they're bleeding into other areas of the house. For the kitchen area alone, about 4% of your budget should go into um, the flooring material. Okay, well, the whole flooring project, flooring material and labor, okay? So you're talking about, uh, you know, what's that gonna be? Probably around 3,000 bucks or so. Again, we'll put the numbers on the screen. Okay, um, next one, design services. Um, my recommendation, even if you're a designer, I'm a designer, <laughs> I'm a certified kitchen designer, I like to get feedback and input from other designers on projects, okay? So if you're gonna do this, it's nice to get some, some professional opinions from others. 
and um, plan about 3% of your budgets on the design, sorry, 5%, forgive me, 5% of the budget on your design services, okay? Um, so that's gonna put you in the, I don't know, $5,000 range or so. All right, lighting. Um, lighting, 3%. Now lighting, think about today's lighting situation. You got pendants hanging down from the ceiling over your island, you might have cans around the perimeter, you might have uh, sconces, you know, um, maybe even have LED lights up in the cabinets up above, but uh, under cabinet lighting as well. But plan approximately about 3% of your budget on the lighting. And this is again gonna put you down in the, probably the $3,000, uh, $2,500 range, okay, in that range. And then finally, uh, miscellaneous um, uh, area would be things like you might follow with a pot rack holder or you want to do some specialty handles that are outside the norm or you decided you want to do something different for your tile backsplash than what you had planned, okay? So plan about 2% of your budget or, or in this case, maybe about 1500 bucks um, for the miscellaneous, okay? So I hope this helps you out, helps you get a good return on your investment and it helps your project go well. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.